Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. On the last episode, we caught the thieves, and we went back after a long cutscene. Now to continue. The lino flowers that painted Trista's spring fields had faded, replaced by lush greenery and a refreshing breeze. With the trials of last month's field study behind us, we found ourselves caught up once more in the bustle of school life. Both our combat training and academic studies continued to become more and more demanding, but May also heralded the beginning of specialist classes more befitting a military academy. The Orbal Revolution 50 years ago changed the way wars were fought forever. There are a number of reasons for this fundamental change, but four factors in particular that I would argue to be the most important. The first is the invention of Orbal guns, cannons, and other weaponry. The increased accuracy of these weapons, as well as their ease of maintenance and manufacture, instantly rendered all other firearms obsolete. The second factor is the associated mechanization of the military. Orbital technology led to the formation of armored divisions made up of tanks and armored cars. The impact this new kind of tactical unit had on the battlefield, with its enhanced offense, defense, and mobility, cannot be overstated. The third factor is the invention of airships. Warships that rely on the gravity manipulation ability of a flight field to remain in the air simply did not exist before the revolution. The sudden addition of a whole new dimension to war, the sky, made countless new strategies viable that were previously unimaginable. And the last factor is the creation of an entirely new practical science, which may be the biggest, most important change of all. Without orbital technology, such a concept would scarcely even have been conceivable, but now we'd be virtually crippled without it. Reen Schwarzer, can you tell the class what that new scientific breakthrough was? Something only possible after the Orbital Revolution, which was revolutionized, which revolutionized warfare. Now we have to be. Uh, I don't know. How is that correct? Answer is orbital communications, a form of wireless communication technology based on formless transmissions through orbital waves. This allows officers on the battlefield to obtain pertinent information in real time, leading to precise, accurate troop movements. Of course, countermeasures have also been invented, such as wiretaping and jamming, to particularly limit its benefits, but nonetheless. How are you supposed to know these things? I just guessed. It, it didn't even say any. This is all pretty high level stuff. I mean, I know the basics, but I've never heard it gone into such detail before. Yeah, we're going to have to work really hard to keep up. It's not like... I don't think there's like a spot where you can study or anything for this, but I just loaded the game and it threw a question at me that I never heard an answer for. So, it's just a guessing game, if you ask me. Why did La Lady Lara have to be placed in a class like that? I was truly looking forward to sitting alongside her. Is that girl next to her not the one who scored the highest on the entrance exam? I believe so. Though, I also hear she's a mere commoner. 
there's something about that silver-haired girl that I find oddly soothing. I wonder if she'd let me stroke her hair, were I to ask nicely. That's quite enough idle chatter. We're members of class one. We are above such droll behavior. As well, we cannot allow ourselves to be better by the rabble. Bettered by the rabble. Even in something as insignificant as the culinary arts. Uh, of course not. I was so accustomed to our chief doing all the cooking, however, that I must admit I'm finding this all rather challenging. Could they make it a little less obvious they're talking about us? I mean, seriously. It stands to reason they'd be curious about our class. It's hard to blame them for that, at least. <laughs> I think you've whisked that plenty already. <laughs> Orbital computer primer? primer? I don't know. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of using an orbital computer. Likewise. I was lost at first, but it's slowly beginning to make more sense. Well, it is cutting edge technology here in Erebonia, so I think most people are confused until they've gotten used to it. Why was Reen the only one that wasn't voice acted in that Machias part? and Yusus both picked it up surprisingly quickly, though. And this one. Yeah, but academics are their thing. And I'm pretty sure Machias has been interested in computers for a while, too. Yusus also seems to get the hang of things far quicker than most people, even if he's not interested in them at all. Which probably just adds insult to injury for Machias. I'll bet. I hear they were really butting heads during last month's field study. What is with them and not voicing Reen? They were. At one point, things almost took a violent turn. We were able to hold them back, but I don't think we could have kept them under control for long if Instructor Sarah hadn't arrived. <sighs> we really need to do something about them, but I have no idea what. I don't either, but you're right. This has gone on far way too long as it is it needs to stop Reen Schwarzer huh isn't he from class one Patrick is it that is correct my full name is Patrick T Hyarms I don't believe I need to say anything more than that what? So, you're from the High Arms family. Are they prestigious? About as prestigious as they come. The High Armsies are one of the four great houses. Though they're slightly lower in rank than the Albareas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant no offense. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I didn't come here to talk to commoners or foreigners. I came to bring gladsome tidings to you, Reen Schwarzer. I am generously extending you welcome to make use of the accommodations on the third floor of the Student Union Building. You mean the third floor? That's where the Noble Salon is, right? Your father may be a mere baron, but that still makes you a noble. And though you've had the misfortune of sharing a class with this riffraff, I have decided to use my good name as a member of the High Arms family to afford you the privilege of joining us. I do hope you appreciate it. I hate him. Well, how can I turn him down politely? <sighs> this hardly strikes me as the best place to be recruiting new members. Yusus Salberea? I wasn't aware the third son of the High Arms family counted playing factions among his hobbies. If you wished for company in the salon, should you not have come to me first? You? Y you've been invited countless times. You, you simply choose not to come. Despite there being no shortage of second years practically begging for your company. 
I have no interest. Hm. Suit yourself, then. But you, Schwarzer, make sure you think long and hard about this. If you care about your future, you need to start thinking about the connections you're making, and the side you're taking. <sighs> He's certainly not shy. He's certainly annoying. No, he's not. I wasn't sure how to turn him down, either. Thanks for stepping in, Juicy. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... No. That's all. Last month's field study? Is he... Yeah, I think he means the run-in we had with the Provincial Army. Ah. So he feels partially responsible for his family's actions, then. He must have been looking for a way to apologize to you. Huh. I guess he has a nice side after all. I don't think Juices is bad. He is a royal, but he doesn't act all stuck up and prestigious like that other one. He has his moments. <sighs> Mikey has overheard that. Good work today, class. Tomorrow's a free day, so do take it easy. You've earned it. Just remember, next Wednesday is your second practical exam. <sighs> I was wondering when she'd bring that up. Um, will you be announcing the details of our next field study trip on Wednesday also? Of course, you'll be heading out next weekend. I'm sure you can hardly wait. <sighs> <laughs> I, for one, very much look forward to it. Oh, and one more thing. Your midterms are scheduled for the middle of next month, so just file that away if you would. M midterms Sounds irritating. So we finally get to put all the knowledge we've gained throughout the past few months to the test. Yes, and that's a good thing. You need to be thinking about your academic studies. School can't just be about military strategy, you know. Because if it is, I'm going to get an earful from Vice Principal Henrich again. Is that all you care about? Uh, um, can we ask you if there's anything we don't understand? Not if you care about the answer being right. I'm a combat instructor. Book smarts like that are well beyond me. Anyway, that's all for homeroom. Macus, if you please. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. Well, I'll see you later, Reem. Later. Are you two going to club activities today? Yeah, I am. Did you want to have dinner together later? We've been eating at the cafeteria an awful lot lately, so maybe we could go to the cafe and Trista today for a change of scenery. Sounds good to me. You want to just meet up in the entrance hall later? Sure. See you then. Um. Oh, hi, Alisa. Are you off to club practice too? Oh, no, not today. Uh. What is it? Is there something you want to ask me? It's nothing. I'll see you later. She couldn't say. Uh, what was that about? All about? Hmm. Did you do something else to upset her? Not that I'm aware of. Uh. Although, I suppose it's possible I did something wrong without even realizing it knowing her. <laughs> I was speaking in jest, I assure you. Are you planning on going to the old schoolhouse again tomorrow? Yeah, the principal did ask me to keep an eye on it, so I thought I'd make time for a quick look inside. Alright, please let me know when you're planning to begin the expedition, if you would. I have club activities tomorrow, but I'm far but as far as I'm concerned, the old schoolhouse take priority. Thanks, I'll let you know. Excellent, I'll see you tomorrow then. Machias. You're in the chess club, aren't you, Machias? Or are you planning on studying in the <laughs> library? Since when was it any of your business what I choose to do after class? Oh no, I just... Have I done something to upset you? Not especially. It's actually my fault for being deceived so easily in the first place. I knew it. Oh. 
Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. I'm really sorry. I wasn't trying to deceive you. I just... Save your breath. Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. That's all there is to it. I... I knew it. I was waiting for him to say something. Ah, I'm... I'm sorry. No, please, think nothing of it. Oh, no, not at all. Did you I need something? I accidentally left one of my textbooks in my desk, so I came back to fetch it. Ah, here it is. What subject? Take a look. Intermediate mathematics for dummies. Studying hard as always, I see, except wait. Intermediate? Isn't that part of the Sunday school curriculum? Seems a bit basic oh, for you. <laughs> it's not for me. I promised to help Fee with her math studies. I found this at a bookshop in town and thought it might be of some use to her. Ah, okay. Which reminds me, I should really be going. I'm sure she's waiting for me by now. I'll see you later, Reen. Take care. And don't worry. Hmm. I'm sure Machias doesn't hate you or anything. If you can find some way of making him realize how you feel, I'm sure he'll understand. It's just getting through to him that might be tough. Yeah. I just have to keep at it. If Venom believes I can make it work, then I'll believe it too. I should probably also get going. Maybe I'll wander around the academy grounds for a while before returning to the dorm. Hmm, what should I do? If I do get to freely roam, maybe I'll go check out the orphan area. See if I can make some orphans. Or buy some orphans. I'm still partially broke. I've been wanting to get back to this. You know, most. And technically, in Reen's case, he didn't really lie. Everything he said was true, except he didn't tell that his family was noble. He just said he didn't have a drop of noble blood in him. Loophole. Okay, let's go to... to... Why is Fee at the old schoolhouse? Let's go to the engineering building and see if I can... Uh... I don't know. Prevents abnormal status and stat down. Oh, that's useful. But I can't really do anything with that. Obtain seventh from attacks and crafts. Cool. Charge. I wonder how much these would actually give. 
Yeah, they're not nearly as good as these ones. Those are the separate masks. So, so it's kind of worthless as hell then anyway. That's 7,000 from just 700. Separate masks. I think it's pretty... Oops. Whoops. I think that's more than worth it, honestly. Because these are easy to get. Oh, I missed that. Uh, missed a tad bit. Down by a hundred. Yeah, because these are easy to get, so it's pretty much worth it to get those. Okay, what? I'm gonna just blow all my money. Because I want these master courses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I got a pretty decent amount of uh, set of masses in it. I'm gonna open that one. This one can be open once I can do that. Don't wanna do that. This one's pretty cheaper. Sure, everybody has a uh, can have a new award. Let's leave it at that until we get some more. All right, I think I'll head back now. It's probably a little bit late in, late in the episode to actually mention this since it's not even really about me at all. But I am working on the tales of Zysteria skits and. Um, I can't say when I'll have them done because it is taking a while. Plus, it takes a really long time to edit. Since there's a lot of skits. A lot. Ugh. And I recorded I recorded them by parts because of how you review the skits there in multiple sections. And then I gotta chop them up, remove some things so that it's just the skits. It's a lot of work, but I'm trying to get it done as quickly as I can, but I'm trying to actually make it look good at the same time, you know, so it's actually still good, people can enjoy it. <laughs> hey there, first year. I think I was so hurt again. Ha. Nailed it. Oh, it's you. I'm not going to play along with your scams this time. So you might as well be on your way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hustle you before, honest. Did you uh, figure out how I did it though? If you really want your 50 mirror back, I'll be happy to hand it over. But wouldn't you rather feel like you earned it? Come on, what do you say? Hmm. There had to have been a trick to it. Some form of slide of the hand. Something that wasn't as it seemed. If I had to guess, I'd say the crook of his illusion was. Hmm. I really wouldn't think it would be the bandana. I don't remember ever going to it. Though I don't think the coin was ever tossed. I really don't think it was the bandana. If it was the bandana, I would be surprised. I'm really thinking it's the drawstring bag. But I'm gonna go with the coin was ever tossed. I didn't see it. Oh, I get to choose again. I thought it was that one the first time. You threw the coin in the air, but let it fall instead of trying to catch it. You let it fall right into the open bag line and wait for it at your feet. Am I right? Yeah, 
Not bad. It took you a while to get there, but I'll give it to you. So I was yep, right. Spot on. And a promise is a promise, so here's your 50 mirror. Uh. Sorry, I've only got 10 mirror on me. Uh, it's fine, just forget it. It's only 50 mirror, you can oh, keep it. Really? Oh, really? That's mighty generous. Hey! Stop trying to leech money off innocent first years, you louse. Oh crap, it's the she devil. What? Isn't that bike we saw earlier in the in the game? A bicycle, no. It looks like it's powered by orbital energy. Wait, I've seen this girl somewhere before. Yurin, I take it. I've been hearing all about you from Toa and George. Sounds like you pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in your field study last month. Uh, surprised you know my name, actually. I didn't think I'd been doing anything worthy of such attention. I guess I should still officially introduce myself, though. I'm Reen Swarger. It's nice Same. to meet you. I'm Angelica, Angelica Rogner. Glad I could finally make your acquaintance. Rogner, as in Marcus Rogner, head of the four great houses, head of one of the four great houses. <laughs> Same reaction every time, I swear. Yeah, I'm his unworthy daughter. But he doesn't really want to have anything to do with me since I go around dressed like this. Uh, I think it's less how you dress and more how you behave. Where are you going on that bike at this hour, anyway? Oh, George finally finished tuning the Orbital engine. So I figured I'd give it a run to the capital and back and see how it holds up. <sighs> sure must be nice not to have a care in the world. <laughs> Look who's talking. So... You do ride it like a bike. Motorcycle, like a bike. <laughs> well, catch you later. I'm thinking of putting in a request for you sometime. If I do, I'd sure appreciate a swift response. Right. Huh. Lost for words? That's a little something George put together a while back. He calls it an orbital bike. Pretty cool, huh? It is. It's kind of like a steel horse. H how is it like? Okay. I'm guessing you can't buy those at any shop. Nah. The Ruhr Institute of Technology started putting that one together as part of a test. Then George finished it off. Jellica put up the money for the parts herself. Oh, but Toa and I helped out too. Sounds like it must have been a pretty challenging project. Are you on good terms with Toa and George, then? Angelica said she'd heard all about me from them. Maybe you had a little something to do with that, too. Well, we're all from different classes, but we've kind of stuck together for a while now. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself, did I? No, but I kind of didn't care. Crow Armbrust. Name's Crow Armbrust. Second year, class five. I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Later! So his name is Crow, huh? Angelica is the daughter of Marquis Rogner. Toa is the student council president, and George is head of the engineering club. It seems like every second year I meet is someone, somebody important. <laughs> Chapter two: The Verdant City. I don't know what that choice was all about. I'm not gonna stay in my room. Uh, 
Oh, it's late at night. Maybe I should have. All right, let's see if there's anything around. Let's see if I can sort things out with Magnus. I'm studying it at the moment. Can you save it for tomorrow? Sure, I'll come back then. <sighs> I really do want to apologize to him, but he doesn't seem to want to give me the chance. Well, of course not. Are you free at the moment, Juices? What do you want? I just wanted to say thanks for this afternoon. I assume you mean with the incident with high arms. I explicitly remember stating that I wasn't trying to help you. <laughs> Maybe so, but I still wanted to thank you. I'm not really used to handling situations like that. I mean, I'm a noble, but I've never really spent much time with the members, with other members of nobility. Jesus. Hmm. It seems as though neither one of us is an ordinary noble, but your problems have nothing to do with me. Don't expect my assistance next time. Hmm. Neither one of us. I guess he's got some issues of his own then. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what? I heard that it's a tradition for the wind orchestra to stage a big yearly concert. I'm going to try to find out more about that tomorrow, but I'm getting really excited just thinking about it. That's going to be my big goal to work towards, toward for the time being. That was a delicious meal, courtesy of Kerr, whatever your face is. Thanks to that, I ought to be in top shape for tomorrow. I imagine everyone's starting to get used to the academy life now, but we need to avoid getting too comfortable and keep working. It really looks like it's in that room, but I'm going to assume that it's not at all. Okay, that's going back up to Trista. No, no, that's that's Rain's room, isn't it? Well, that's kind of a waste of time. here. Seems like it. I'll be right there. Oh, hello, Reen. Is something the matter? Not really. I just came back for a chat. Is Fee with you? I thought I heard her voice a moment ago. She is. I promised to help her study after we finish dinner. She's currently off doing some exercises I prepared for her this afternoon. I never expected to hear that. <laughs> She's actually a very hard worker. Would you like to join us? Nah, it's alright. I'd rather not distract you too. It sounds like hard work, so good luck. Thank you. Great, I'm yawning again. Have a good free day tomorrow. How did you shut the door from all across the room? Oh, what? Uh, why is your door open? Good evening, Reen. Hey there, Laura. Ah, I like how you've got your room set up. It's pretty relaxing. It's probably because we both grown up immersed in the way of the sword. My room at home has far has more or less the same feel too. <laughs> I should have expected as much. I see you've been practicing your swords, your swings tonight too. Still can't read. Of course, it helps my dinner settle. Sword practice is usually my go-to for clearing my mind. So it's an ideal way to why dang it. Wind down the day. I'm still yawning every time I talk, it just builds. <laughs> For some reason, I had this impression that you were one of those people who never got caught up in stray thoughts. <laughs> Even I have things I brood over now and then. I've noticed that you've been putting extra effort into your training lately. 
May we both continue to strive towards improving ourselves. Certainly. Eh. No. Couldn't have said it better myself. Eh. That did not come out as English at first. Well, English to me. Why is your door open too? Uh, what's wrong, Lisa? Oh, hey, Rin. Something serious, don't worry. Well, if you insist. But now that I'm here, it's really easy to tell that this is your room, Lisa. It's so organized and neat. It really fits that high school image of yours. D don't make fun of me like that. Uh, sometimes I can't tell if he's clueless or if he's actually caught on. S sorry, did I say something to upset you? No, it's nothing. He's not... He is not caught on. He's pretty much clueless. Hmm? Oh, our teacher. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I didn't peg you as the type to sneak into a lady's room in the middle of the night. Maybe I had you figured wrong. I knew she was going to say something like that. I wouldn't exactly call this sneaking. I'm kind of surprised, though. You're actually not drinking. Not that I wouldn't like a drink right now, to be honest, but I've got some work I need to finish up before I forget. Okay, yeah, I give up. Grab me a beer from the case over there, will ya? Uh, you ever think that maybe there's something not quite right about a teacher bringing her beer into the dorms? <laughs> Come on! Beer's the fuel that keeps my fires burning. I'll even let you have a can or two yourself. It's okay if anyone asks. I have no idea where you got it. Really? Uh, I think I'll pass. By the way, instructor, you know a guy named Crow, right? He's a second year student. Oh, and Angelica, too. Oh, you've met them already, have you? I've run into quite them quite a few times since I came to this academy last year. Ah, so you do know them. Well, at the very least, I hope you can steer clear of their influence. You wouldn't want to take after them any more than you'd want to take after me. You say that, and yet, here you are as our homeroom teacher. Pretty much. Pretty much, right? Why do I keep doing that? Oh, I'm gonna move on. Should I call it a day? Uh, that's the reason I, uh... I walked over here. Choosing the rest will cause the... Yeah, we already know. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> my headphones got caught under my foot when I stood up. And it yanked my head. Obtain student council tasks, May. Oh, we have more student council tasks. Old Schoolhouse Mystery 2, Substitute Tutor, and Book Delivery. Oh, come on. Old Schoolhouse Mystery 2, Principal People. I would like to ask Class 7 to continue their investigation of the Old Schoolhouse from where they left off last month. I hope you will be able to shed further light. Hmm. Yawning again. Oops. Sorry about that. Substitute tutor. Hmm. Something urgent has come up, so I really need someone to take care of tutoring the kid I usually teach. I'll be waiting in the lower class dorm, so please come and see me as soon as you can. I don't think Rain's a tutoring person. Book delivery. A number of books have just arrived at Thor's faculty, and I would like assistance in delivering them. Inquire at King's Bookstore. The old school has requested the same deal as last month. I've still got the key, so I can go whenever I'm ready. But there's no telling how long it's going to take, so I should finish up everything else first. Also, outside of the quest for going into the old school house, you can't really go into the old school house even though you just have the key, because the key keeps telling you it's locked. You have the key. Why does it matter if it's locked? Alright, let's get started. 
Well, we won't be doing that right now. Because that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.